The Yamaha brand trademark, Yamaha, comes from the name of our founder, Torakosu Yamaha, who pioneered the production of Western musical instruments in Japan. Born to a family of Akisu Tokugawa, today's Wakayama Prefecture, clansmen, Torakosu was captivated by Western science and technology from early on. Fascinated by the watches that were gaining popularity in Osaka at the time, he took up watchmaking, studying business along the way. Over time, Torakosu began repairing medical equipment and was invited to visit a hospital in Hamamatsu, Shizuoka Prefecture. On one occasion, Hamamatsu Jinjo Elementary School asked him if he would try to repair a reed organ. He agreed and was able to repair it successfully, marking the first step toward the birth of the Yamaha brand. Recognizing its business potential, while repairing the organ, Torakosu created a blueprint for the inside of the organ, later creating his own prototype organ. To deliver it to the then Music Institute, today's Tokyo University of Arts, it is said that Torakosu slung his creation over his shoulder on a carrying pole and crossed the mountains of Hakone. This story was later immortalized as a bas relief. The organ, however, was criticized harshly for its poor tuning. Undaunted, and starting from zero, Torakosu began studying music theory and tuning. After seemingly endless struggles, he was finally able to complete the organ. It's easy to see how he came up with the concept of the tuning fork mark, inspired by the difficult experience of studying tuning while holding a tuning fork in his hand. Yamaha Motor Co., Ltd. is a Japanese mobility manufacturer that produces motorcycles, motorboats, outboard motors, and other motorized products. The company was established in the year 1955 upon separation from Nippon Gaki Co., Ltd. Currently Yamaha Corporation, and is headquartered in Iwata, Shizuoka, Japan. The company conducts development, production, and marketing operations through 109 consolidated subsidiaries as of 2012. Led by Jenaki Kawakami, the company's founder and first president, Yamaha Motor spun off from musical instrument manufacturer Yamaha Corporation in 1955 and began production of its first product, the Ya 125 cubic centimeters motorcycle. It was quickly successful and won the third Mount Fuji Ascent race in its class. The company's products include motorcycles, scooters, motorized bicycles, boats, sailboats, personal watercraft, swimming pools, utility boats, fishing boats, outboard motors, four-wheel ATVs, recreational off-road vehicles, go-kart engines, golf carts, multi-purpose engines, electrical generators, water pumps, snowmobiles, small snow throwers, automobile engines, surface mounters, intelligent machinery, industrial use unmanned helicopters, electrical power units for wheelchairs and helmets. The company is also involved in the import and sale of various types of products, the development of tourist businesses, and the management of leisure, recreational facilities, and related services. Yamaha's motorcycle sales are the second largest in the world and Yamaha is the world leader in water vehicle sales. Nippon Gakiko, Ltd., currently Yamaha Corporation, was founded by Torakosu Yamaha in 1887 to manufacture reed organs and pianos and became the largest Japanese manufacturer of musical instruments in the early 20th century. Yamaha was contracted to manufacture wooden and, later, metal airplane propellers by the Japanese government during World War II. The company struggled in the aftermath of the war, and in the early 1950s, Chairman Jenaki Kawakami decided to repurpose its underutilized wartime facilities to manufacture small motorcycles for leisure use. The motorcycle division of Yamaha was spun off in 1955, being incorporated on July 1, 1955 in Japan, and was headed by Jenaki Kawakami. Yamaha's initial product was a 125 cubic centimeters, 7.6 cu in, two-stroke, single-cylinder motorcycle, the Ya1, which was a copy of the German DKWRT 125. The Ya1 was a competitive success at racing from the beginning, 
winning not only the 125 cubic centimeters class in the MT Fuji Ascent, but also sweeping the podium with first, second, and third place in the All Japan Auto Bike Endurance Road Race that same year. Early success in racing set the tone for Yamaha, as competition in many varieties of motorcycle racing has been a key endeavor of the company throughout its history, often fueled by a strong rivalry with Honda, Suzuki, Kawasaki, and other Japanese manufacturers. Yamaha began competing internationally in 1956 when they entered the Catalina Grand Prix, again with the Ya1, at which they placed sixth. The Ya1 was followed by the Ya2 of 1957, another 125 cubic centimeters two-stroke, but with significantly improved frame and suspension. The YD1 of 1957 was a 250 cubic centimeters two-stroke twin-cylinder motorcycle, resembling the Ya2, but with a larger and more powerful motor. A performance version of this bike, the Yards 1 housed the 250 cubic centimeters two-stroke twin in a double downtube cradle frame and offered the first five-speed transmission in a Japanese motorcycle. This period also saw Yamaha offer its first outboard marine engine. By 1963, Yamaha's dedication to both the two-stroke engine and racing paid off with their first victory in international competition, at the Belgian GP, where they won the 250 cubic centimeters class. Success in sales was even more impressive, and Yamaha set up the first of its international subsidiaries in this period beginning with Thailand in 1964, and the Netherlands in 1968. 1965 saw the release of a 305 cubic centimeters two-stroke twin, the flagship of the company's lineup. It featured a separate oil supply which directly injected oil into the gasoline prior to combustion, traditionally riders had to pre-mix oil into gasoline together before filling the gas tank on two-stroke engines. In 1967 a new larger displacement model was added to the range, the 350 cubic centimeters two-stroke twin R1. In 1968, Yamaha launched their first four-stroke motorcycle, the XS1-650 which was a 650 cubic centimeters four-stroke twin, a larger and more powerful machine that equaled the displacement and performance of the popular British bikes of the era, such as the Triumph Bonneville and BSA Gold Star. Yamaha continued on with both the two-stroke line and four-stroke twins at a time that other Japanese manufacturers were increasingly moving to four-cylinder four-stroke machines, a trend led by Honda in 1969 with the legendary CB750 four-stroke four-cylinder cycle. In early 1969, Yamaha added reed valve induction to its previously piston-ported designs to produce the twin-cylinder RD and single-cylinder R's families, with variants in a number of capacities. There was a persistent, but apocryphal, rumor to the effect that RD indicated race developed. In fact, R appears to have indicated reed valved, D the twin, or double, cylinder models and S the single cylinder models. The RD family would be developed through the 1970s and 1980s, gaining solid wheels, water cooling, YPVS, and other newer technology till they had little in common with the original variants, before being supplanted by the TZR. The R's family was produced for many years in a large number of variants by Yamaha and then Escorts Limited in India without losing its resemblance to its progenitors. In addition to the RD and R's standards, Yamaha also manufactured small standards with stamped steel frames and rotary disc valve motors such as the Yamaha FS1, and stepped through V50 and V80 designs. Its Enduro Trail bike was replaced by the DT models. Not until 1976 would Yamaha answer the other Japanese brands with a multi-cylinder four-stroke of their own. The XS750, and later 850, a 750 cubic centimeters triple-cylinder machine with shaft final drive was introduced almost seven years after Honda's breakthrough bike. Yamaha's first four-cylinder model, the XS1100 followed in 1978, again with shaft drive. Despite being heavier and more touring-oriented than its rivals it produced an impressive string of victories in endurance racing. The 1970s also saw some of the first dedicated off-road bikes for off-road racing and recreation. 
Yamaha was an early innovator in dirt bike technology, and introduced the first single shock rear suspension, the trademarked mono shock of 1973. It appeared in production on the 1974 Yamaha YZ250, a model which is still in production, making it Yamaha's longest continuous model and name. Yamaha continued racing throughout the 1960s and 1970s with increasing success in several formats. The decade of the 1970s was capped by the XT500 winning the first Paris Dakar rally in 1979. By 1980 the combination of consumer preference and environmental regulation made four-strokes increasingly popular. Suzuki ended production of their GT two-stroke series, including the flagship water-cooled two-stroke 750 cubic centimeters GT750 in 1977. Kawasaki, who had considerable success throughout the 1970s with their two-stroke triples of 250 cubic centimeters, 350 cubic centimeters, 400 cubic centimeters, 500 cubic centimeters, and 750 cubic centimeters ended production of road-going two-strokes in 1980. Yamaha bucked this trend and continued to refine and sell two strokes for the street into the 1980s. These bikes were performance oriented, water cooled twin cylinder machines, designed to achieve excellent performance taking advantage of the lower weight of two strokes. The RZ250 of 1980 was the progenitor of the series. The RZ350, the largest displacement model, was a popular hot rod bike of the 1980s and continued to be sold in some countries into the early 1990s. Throughout the 1980s the motorcycle industry gradually went from building a few basic but versatile models designed to work well in many roles, to offering many more specialized machines designed to excel in particular niches. These included racing and performance street riding, touring, motocross racing, enduro and recreational off-road riding, and cruising. Yamaha branched out from the relatively small number of UJMs, Universal Japanese Motorcycle, at the start of the decade to a much larger set of offerings in several clearly defined markets at the end of the decade. The 15750 of 1981 featured an air-cooled V-twin four-stroke engine and cruiser styling, and was one of the first Japanese cruiser-style motorcycles. By the end of the 1980s Yamaha had offered dozens of cruiser-styled bikes in a variety of displacements and engine configurations. The RZV500 was one of the first replay racers, a near copy of Kenny Roberts' competition GP bike, it featured a liquid-cooled two-stroke motor of 500 cubic centimeters displacement in AV4 configuration, along with a perimeter frame and full fairing. A more popular and practical high-performance model for the street was introduced in 1985, the FZ750. It was an innovative 750 cubic centimeters four-stroke inline four-cylinder model. It was the first motorcycle to feature a five-valve cylinder head, something Yamaha became well known for. It also featured a cylinder block canted forward at 45 degrees, and a box section steel perimeter frame. Production of the FZ continued until 1991. Another bike that was performance oriented was the Yamaha RXZ, introduced in 1985 as a two stroke naked sport bike, related to the Yamaha RX135 and Yamaha RD135, borrowing its chassis and platform. Originally equipped with a five speed transmission and a solid front disc brake rotor with rear drum brakes, it was popular in Malaysia and Singapore. After a few years on the market, the engine was upgraded with the installation of a six-speed transmission, together with a newer instrument panel and handlebar switches, as well as a cross-drilled front disc brake rotor, while the rear remained with the drum brakes. The design was unchanged until it was updated in 2004, with the rear lights being borrowed by the Yamaha Y125Z and a new headlight. It was also installed with a catalytic converter, which reduced its horsepower to 19 bhp. However, the maximum torque remained unchanged but the low-end torque was improved compared to the early models. Some owners of the earlier RXZ motorcycles may have problems during takeoff because the engine tends to stall when an inexperienced rider tries to take off in the first gear. However, the problem was resolved in the new model. In Malaysia, 
this bike was associated with street racers and was featured in many Malay movies. In 2011, after 26 years, it was discontinued. In 1998 Yamaha marketed a 1,000 cubic centimeters four-cylinder road bike called the YZFR1, this model introduced a new style of gearbox design which shortened the overall length of the motor-slash-gearbox case, to allow a more compact unit. This, in turn allowed the motor to be placed in the frame further forward, designed to improve handling in a short wheel-based frame. In 1995, Yamaha announced the creation of Star Motorcycles, a new brand name for its cruiser series of motorcycles in the American market. In other markets, Star Motorcycles are still sold under the Yamaha brand. This was an attempt to create a brand identity more closely aligned with the cruiser market segment, one of the largest and most lucrative in the U.S. In 2007, Yamaha established the Philippine operations and distributes Yamaha motorcycles under the corporate name of Yamaha Motor Philippines Incorporated, one of more than 20 worldwide subsidiaries operating on all continents. In 2015, Yamaha invested 150 million US dollars in Pakistan to set up a plant at Port Qasim, Karachi. Yamaha purchased small engine maker Subaru Industrial Power Products from Subaru in October 2017. Subaru's engines powered lawnmowers, generators, and water pumps and have since been rebranded as Yamaha. In motorcycle racing Yamaha has won 39 world championships, including 7 in MotoGP and 10 in the preceding 500 cubic centimeters two-stroke class, and 2 in World Superbike. In addition Yamaha have recorded 210 victories at the Isle of Man TT and had the list of victories at the sidecar TT with 40. Past Yamaha riders include, Jarno Saranen, Giacomo Agostini, Bob Hanna, Heike Mikola, Bruce Anstey, Kenny Roberts, Eddie Lawson, Wayne Rainey, Jeremy McGrath, Stefan Merriman, Dave Molyneux, Ian Hutchinson, Phil Redd, Chad Reed, Ben Spies, Jorge Lorenzo, and nine-time world champion Valentino Rossi. The Yamaha YZ450F won the AMA Supercross Championship two years in a row, in 2008 with Chad Reed, and 2009 James Stewart. Yamaha was the first to build a production monoshock motocross bike, 1975 for 250 and 400, 1976 for 125, and one of the first to have a water-cooled motocross production bike, 1977 in works bikes, 1981 in off-the-shelf bikes. Yamaha's first motocross competition four-stroke bike, the YZ400F, won the 1998 USA Outdoor National Championship with factory rider Doug Henry. Since 1962, Yamaha made production road racing Grand Prix motorcycles that any licensed road racer could purchase. In 1970, non-factory privateer teams dominated the 250 cubic centimeters world championship with Great Britain's Rodney Gould winning the title on a Yamaha TD2. Yamaha also sponsors several professional ATV riders in several areas of racing, such as cross-country racing and motocross. Yamaha has had success in cross-country with their YFZ450, written by Bill Balance, winning nine straight titles since 2000. Yamaha's other major rider, Tracy Seiko, has ridden the YFZ450 to seven titles, with the first in 2000. In ATV motocross, Yamaha has had success with Dustin Nelson and Pat Brown, both who race the YFZ450. Pat Brown's best season was a third-place title in 2007, while Nelson has had two first-place titles in the Yamaha-slash-ITP quad cross, one in 2006 and the other in 2008. In 2021, Yamaha has won several competitions, such as British Superbike with Terran McKenzie, Moto America with Jake Gagne, MFJ Superbike with Katsuyuki Nakashuga, World SSP with Dominiki Gerder, and several other competitions. Their 2022 MotoGP lineup was Fabio Cordero and Franco Morbidelli, continuing in 2023. The 2022 World Superbikes team was Toprak Razgatlioglu and Andrea Locatelli, continuing in 2023. 
Yamaha Superbike World Championship team since 2016 has been delivered by Crescent Racing. The first Yamaha rider to ever win a World Superbike was Ben Spies in 2009. Then in 2021, Toprak Razgat Lyoglu managed to become world champion. Yamaha produced Formula One engines from 1989 to 1997, with a one-year break in 1990, initially for the Zack Speed team, in 1991 for the Brabham BT60Y, in 1992 for the Jordan 192, from 1993 to 1996 for Tyrrell, and in 1997 for the Aeros A18. The Yamaha engines never won a race, Damon Hill nearly did so at the 1997 Hungarian Grand Prix, drivers including Damon Hill, Yukio Katayama, Mark Blundell, and Mika Salo scored some acceptable results with Blundell achieving a surprise third place at the 1994 Spanish Grand Prix and Hill with second at the aforementioned 1997 Hungarian Grand Prix, this partly was considered to be due to Yamaha collaborating with the John Judd engine organization to create a better and reliable engine however there were questions raised as to whether the Yamaha engines used from 1993 until 1997 were just Judd engines with the Yamaha branding on top of this. 1994 was considered to be Yamaha's most successful year in terms of points accrued, apart from the podium achieved by Blundell in Spain the Yamaha engine in the Tyrrell car achieved four fifth place finishes and one sixth place finish over the course of the season, however, due to the inconsistency of the engine over the years they were often unreliable and were usually regarded as not very powerful, the Yamaha-powered engine never secured a fastest lap or pole position despite being on the grid for nearly a decade. After the conclusion of the 1997 Formula One season, Yamaha decided to pull out of the sport, a possible reason for this was due to a disagreement with Aeros regarding the 1998 engine's identification, Yamaha wished to carry out work on the engine with their engineers while Aeros wished for their own engineers to work on the engine instead while still having it badged as a Yamaha engine. In March 2024, it was announced Lola Cars will enter Formula E in the 2024-25 season as a powertrain supplier in a technical partnership with Yamaha. A month later, Lola Yamaha secured ABT Formula E team as its first powertrain customer for the 2024-25 season, with the team entering the season as Lola Yamaha ABT Formula E team. Yamaha also tunes engines for manufacturers, such as Toyota, so Yamaha logos are on Toyota S engines. Yamaha also tried to produce a supercar in the 1990s, named the Yamaha OX 99-11. It was made as a supercar to have a Yamaha Formula One engine as its power plant and have Formula One technology in it. Even though their engines did not win a Grand Prix, by 1991 the team had produced a new engine, the OX 99, and approached a German company to design an initial version of the car. Yamaha was not pleased with the result as it was too similar to sport cars of that time, so it contacted IAD to continue working on the project. By the beginning of 1992, just under 12 months after starting to work on the project, IAD came with an initial version of the car. The car's design was undertaken by Takia Yura, and was originally conceived as a single-seater, however, Yamaha requested a two-seater vehicle and a tandem seating arrangement was suggested which was in keeping with Yamaha's motorcycle expertise. This resulted in a radical and somewhat outrageous design based on Group C cars of the time, with features such as the cockpit locking roof. It also shared the same chassis as the Formula One car, to try to give the consumer market a pure Formula One experience. Eventually disagreements with IAD over the budget made Yamaha take the project to its own Epsilon technology which was given six months to finish the project, otherwise it would be terminated. To make matters worse, Japan was in the midst of an economic downturn, which made Yamaha believe there would be no customers for the car, and so the project was cancelled in 1994 after many delays, with only three prototypes in existence. Beginning in 2013 Yamaha revealed a series of concept cars developed in collaboration with Gordon Murray Design utilizing the company's iStream design process. The first concept, named The Motive, was revealed at the 43rd Tokyo Motor Show in 2013. 
The motive was a compact city car designed to accommodate gasoline engines, EV drivetrains, hybrid systems, and range extenders. The second concept, the sports ride concept, was revealed at the 44th Tokyo Motor Show in 2015. The concept was a lightweight two-seat sports car that drew inspiration from the company's motorcycles. The third concept, the cross-hub concept, was revealed at the 45th Tokyo Motor Show in 2017. The cross-hub was a coupe utility with a diamond-shaped sitting arrangement to allow it to carry two motorcycles in the bed while retaining compact dimensions for urban use. Yamaha confirmed at the 46th Tokyo Motor Show in 2019 that cars were no longer in the company's plans. Thank you for watching this video.